Hello parents of St John's, another instalment of reading at St John's and how we teach reading. So in my previous videos I've gone through the two important parts of reading and how we teach them at St John's. I've done some information about active reading and then spoken more about word zapping and how you can help your child work out the meaning of unknown words. And this next video is all about vipers. Now, as I've said before, active reading is kind of the first area that we focus on when we're initially reading a text together in a small group. And it's how we teach children to think constantly as they're reading. So they're active, which means thinking about the words that they've read and what they could mean, rather than passive, which means just reading the words on a page and not really taking them in. We do that, and I, I call that surface reading, in the moment. What are you doing in the moment to help you understand? And then vipers is what we do to dive deeper into reading and answer questions about what we've read. This is really important in comprehension work and in test situations where children will do comprehension tests or comprehension exams. And comprehension is all about understanding what has been read. And we do that by questioning in a group in a discussion or doing written comprehensions where children have to find answers from text and write the answer down exactly how they would in an exam or test situation. VIPERS is an acronym and each letter stands for a different skill or a different question type that a child would be answered. Um, a child would be asked, sorry, in a test or an exam. This covers every single question type that could be asked of your child. So it really, really prepares them for the world of tests and exams. So I'm going to go through those now. Vipers is not something that I've made up. It's something that lots of schools use. And I will, um, underneath the video, put a link to the document that explains it in a little bit more detail and gives you question stems, so kind of question starters that would go with each of the question types. So we've got the V first of all in Vipers. I'm just looking at my little booklet here. Lots of the teachers have these, it's just, just to help me. Um, you might have seen some of these little parts of this in your child's reading records. So we're going to focus on the V first of all. V means vocabulary. So any questions that will ask your children the meaning of words in a context or why an author has used certain words. The I in Vipers means infer and that's kind of looking at hidden meanings in a text and using evidence to support why you think that. P means predict, making predictions. E means explaining in more detail. R means retrieving, their find it questions, a question that um, means the answers in the text, your child can find it and retrieve it. And the S for key stage two means summarize. For key stage two, it means sequence, so put things in the order of how they happened in a story. Okay, so a little bit more detail for you. Vocabulary. So vocabulary questions means finding and explaining the meaning of words in context. And you can see here, sorry about the shine, some example questions that could be asked of your child in a test situation that would be a vocabulary type question. Don't worry, this document is going to be linked underneath the video. So vocabulary questions are all questions where your child is finding and explaining the meaning of a word in a context, so the meaning of it in the story. I, inferring, is where your child will make and justify inferences using evidence from the text. And again, there's some example question types here that involve your child using the skill of inferring. We talk about that when we use active reading too, so there's some kind of crossovers. So inferring is where you're kind of looking at the clues and looking a little bit deeper at the hidden meanings within a story. Then we have P for predict, making predictions. Again, slight overlap with active reading. And that is where your child might have to predict what might happen from the details already given. 
So you already know something, so what could that mean? And again, there's example question types here that your child could be asked. Then we have R for retrieve, retrieval questions, which means retrieve and record information and identify key details from fiction and non-fiction. Find it questions. Your child can put their finger on it to find the answer. They're kind of some of the easiest questions. And again, there's question stems that will be in the document underneath so you can see examples of retrieval questions. Then we have E, explain. So explain how something is relevant and contributes to the meaning as a whole. Explaining how a meaning is enhanced through the language that the authors use explaining the theme or the idea or the message behind the story and um, how that develops across a story or text and explaining how information contributes to the whole meaning. So things like explain why a table or chart has been used in this piece of information about a sunflower, that sort of thing. And again, there's some example quite type questions that will be linked in the document underneath. And then for key stage two, we have S, which means summarize. But in for key stage one, we have S, which means sequence. And the reason for that, that um, in the key stage one um, statutory test, the SATS tests in year two, they would be asked to sequence events from a story and put in the middle order using numbers. But in the key stage two tests in year six, they'd be asked to summarize information. And that just means um, thinking of the main ideas from more than one paragraph. And again, there's more explanation and questions that would be summarised type questions that will be in the document below. So we teach these skills one by one. So we might look at vocabulary questions first of all. As a teacher, we would teach that to the group of children that we're working with. So we'd look at lots of different vocabulary questions based on a text that we've read together. And then a child would go on to practice that themselves independently. So we teach a skill and then we want them to go and apply it on their own. So by the end of a series of lessons, they're confident in all of these different question types that they could be faced with in a test situation. So there are reading vipers, the diving deeper into what we've read and answering questions about it. I hope that explains a little bit more to you.